Okay, boys, both know the rules. I want you to obey my commands. If I tell you to break, break clearly. You fed yourselves at all times, boys. God bless you both. Ladies and gentlemen, eight three-minute rounds. Seconds up, round one. So another opportunity for us to see Liam Williams strut his stuff, and I know Barry Jones, with patriotism aside, very much this is a fighter that all the Wales is starting to get excited about. You know, it's a fight that we used to see on the undercast before we broadcast. The, the Box Nation shows, and he never quite made made, made the billing, and I was always disappointed for me because I always thought he was a he was a star in the making. And, but finally, you know, when he got his opportunity, <laughs> he really shone and against Ronnie Heffern. He looked absolutely supersonic. He looked superb, and, and he just showed what everyone in Wales have been saying for a long time that Liam Williams is a is a really talented fighter. Cat is very much out the bag, and he's garnered experience across Europe too. He was on that uh, Rostock bill in Germany. It's his second visit to the Echo Arena. Last time he's here, it wasn't a particularly pleasant experience. That's the only sort of slight blemish on the record. That technical draw with Ty Booth, but which ended up a bloody affair. But it's been onwards and upwards with Williams since then, and it looks as though he's already been working up a sweat back in the locker room. He's come up nice and sharp. With patience, that's what I like about Liam. I mean, you know, he's a good he's a good fighter. And sometimes he can let his hands go a little bit more, but I prefer him that he is on the side of the course. And he takes his time behind the jab. And wait until he's in range before he lets his hands go. He's, he's good to watch and he's, you know, he's a talent. I'm not, I'm not 100 percent sure if he's ready for Liam Smith right now, but he's not he's not far behind. Yeah, we we wonder, I guess, whether that fight will be made or whether in a in a sense they'll be able to go their own directions. Liam. Smith on the bill later on, of course, is, is already starting to look upwards towards European and world title level. And Williams definitely ready for British Championship level as he digs in a right hook to the body. Well, this is a fight where, you know, where he's expected to win, expected to win quite comfortable. It's about whether he can, he can get, get Horvath out there in any sort of style. But again, I think the patience will be the key for him, working behind the jab. And he's already tried to whip in a few right hands to the body. Taking a few more punches this round than we expect from Williams. Is Horvat the, the sort of guy that you, you need to apply pressure to? I think a solid jab, like I said, you've got, you got to keep pushing back, as we've just seen there, that's the case in point. Push him back with a jab and, bull, and bully, and we've seen that with Eubank and Bully only did the same thing. Oh, oh lovely that. body shot, he's sunk down on the ropes. There's a left hook right behind the elbow, and Williams with an all-out assault inside the final 30 seconds of the first. Good work there from Williams. Constant pressure. Just needed maybe look, just adjust his footwork, just get a different angle in the attack. But it was for some punishing body work from him. And again, a whipping right hand to the body. Just missed with the right hand upstairs too. Warming to the task as this opening round has progressed. That's where he's good there in, the, in that mid range where he throws a punch and he springs out the distance really well. Look at the counter. End of the first round, and no doubt Williams warmed up as it got better. Gary Lockett in his corner, as ever, as you see some of the body work throughout that uh, first round. And I think Lockett says he has never, ever sort of seen him lose a round in sparring. Yeah, he's supposed to be, supposed to be really impressive, isn't he, in sparring? He's been impressive in his last few fights and impressive tonight. He's doing what he should do against someone like Horvath, and, and he's working him over. And, well, Steve Bunch just sent me a little note there saying he wants to get rid of him quicker than Eubank and Bully only did just to make a statement that he is, right, you know, he is a real deal. Yeah, of course, a little bit. had a slightly three, four, lower five, six, uh, division That's despite the fact that he's that. more or less a middleweight tonight. Light middle, his preferred route of campaign. So it would be a statement. Eubank in six, remember, in June. Bully only in eight back in November. And we know he's got a beautiful jab, and that's what Gary Lockett was asking for in between rounds. Well, I think it's, it's not only just a range finder for the right hand or to, to set him up for every other combination, it's also a solid punch to push Horvath back with. And we've seen Bullioni do that. Not so much Chris Eubank, he just come out and, and you know, just abritted him with the combinations, but I think Liam setting everything up with the jab. Oh, oh right hand! A delayed reaction from Horvath before he went down, and I don't know if that caught him 
on or in the eye and he's not getting up he shakes his head it's the second round stoppage for Liam Williams quicker than Bullioni quicker than Eubank statement made even even Liam Williams is in the corner going I don't know what happened it must have been such a sweet punch that he actually never felt they really connect properly it's obviously a day reaction I'm not, I'm not sure if that's him do the nose maybe or something well, he's, he's got his back to us. I, I sort of sensed it might have been the eye. See the, the initial co impact there, and then he turned his head and and just fell to the canvas. It wasn't so much the the, the, the impact of the punch. He actually, he actually set. Sorry, he actually set the combination. of he's jabbed at the chin, jabbed at the stomach. You know, just the lower the guard of Horvath and the right hand over the top. But it didn't look like it, it had any sort of major connection. But that's a, that's just a sweet punch, I guess, and good technique from Williams. But what a statement that is. Well, well, well. It's the sixth stoppage in 12 fights now for Liam Williams, who is definitely on the way up. Ladies and gentlemen, at 36 seconds of the second round, Stefan Hobart has failed to beat the referee's count. So the winner in the blue corner, by count out from Clidac Vale, Liam Williams.